this is the uh, firebox backplate of a West Country class boiler, uh, which to all intents is the same as the Merchant Navy boiler that we have over on the other side of the shop. As you can see, we've got these marks here where we firstly identified the positions where there were most corrosion on it. And these were earmarked up for uh, cropping out and replacement. So here we've got the, the firehole door plate, which there was deep corrosion on the firehole door, so that was set for replacement. Having uh, cut sections out of the inside door plate, we revealed that there were further areas of this uh, back plate that required to be renewed. And uh, these were picked up again by ultrasonic in inspection. So uh, we decided that this bit would be completely uh, exchanged for the whole section of the firebox backplate up to that point of that cut mark, uh, that white line there. And also we had uh, lots of areas where there was intensive cracking. This is a section of the backplate of uh, the merchant boiler and we initially we're going to retain this plate but then this cracking was picked up on ultrasonic examination uh, on the outside and so therefore that sealed its fate. Right on the inside of the firebox as known as the door plate we identified large areas of this on the other boiler, the Merchant Navy boiler which needed to be removed and replaced. On having removed that we've also discovered there are further problems which are further up the plate here. So as we cropped and cropped and cropped, we're continually finding more problems further up. So in the end, on the merchant boiler, we finally, if you look at the, the short marks, we removed the whole of the door plate. Initially, the furnace roof or the crown of the firebox, uh, we identified it as being in a fair to marginal condition. Uh, but now, uh, having cut out more pieces from the external side, we can get a better view of the inside. We've now discovered that uh, there are serious corrosion problems with pretty much all of the inner firebox, but particularly on the roof. So we've identified these sections for removal. So the corners of the roof section have, having been removed, both sides, they then gave us access to see visually the middle section of the roof, which was just as bad as the side. So the decision that had been made to remove all of the roof, leaving the siphons in position. So on the initial examination of the boiler, the firebox tube plate, this whole piece was identified as, as being corroded beyond repair. So this piece has now been completely removed and uh, the new tube plate has been pressed and it's been machined with all the holes in it ready for reassembly on the new firebox. Uh, this is the thermic siphon one of two from the we removed from the Merchant Navy boiler because we identified some areas of the top flange here which were extremely corroded on the water side and you can see them here and here and here. Uh, this is the better one of the two, um, but the other one is, is similarly not worse than this. Uh, so uh, we are going to cut the bottom section of this siphon off and also the back heel, but now we need to chop off this top flange here and replace this. <coughs> that doesn't leave very much left of the original one, but in fact this bit here is is probably the most awkward section to repair.